Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Today's review has now brought us here for an extremely special and somewhat exclusive up close and personal encounter with the all new, completely rejuvenated, and very beautifully designed 2015 Chrysler 200C. Now our particular vehicle today has been graciously provided by the professional and friendly staff and management here at Classic Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram, located out here in Denton, Texas. And now, with all of that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the all-new 200, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple all-new features, technologies, and creature comforts that now make up this completely rejuvenated version of Chrysler's mid-size luxury sedan. And so, bearing all that new information in mind, Let's go ahead and climb aboard, and we'll check it out. Now with our particular tester today having most of the options available for the all-new 200, it is available as standard with Chrysler's factory remote start system. Simply activated by the specified button on the, on the Chrysler key fob here, and you just simply hit it twice to activate. Beautiful. And as you can see upon activation of the remote start, the lower LED accents on the projector headlights automatically illuminate. And to turn the engine off, all you have to do is hit the remote start button again. It's as simple as that. And as you can see upon unlocking the vehicle, the Bi-Xenon High Intensity Discharge projector headlights automatically illuminate in standard Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep fashion. Now our particular fully loaded 200C tester today is wearing the bright white clear coat exterior. Now like a lot of Chrysler's modern luxury vehicles, this particular 200 comes standard with Chrysler's factory keyless access system, gaining entry through this standard remote fob here to provide complete remote free access into the vehicle along with a standard push button ignition. Gaining entry into the 200 is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person, such as I have it here in my pocket. And as you just saw just a moment ago, we just unlocked the new 200. And both the locking and unlocking is done through various buttons and touch sensitive areas on both the front and back of the door handle. To lock it, just hit the small black button on any one of the front door handles. A small horn chime indicates that the vehicle is locked. And after waiting a second, just grab the door handle as normal. There's a small touch pad behind the door handle. And assuming you have the key fob with you, the vehicle will unlock. And beautifully contrasting the bright white of the exterior of this vehicle, our particular tester's interior has been fully upholstered in the sumptuous black leather with beautifully trimmed bucket seats for the front. Now to start the all new 200, all you have to do is have the key fob anywhere within the vehicle, then put your foot on the brake, then simply locate and hit the dash mounted engine start button to fire up the engine. Such a beautiful and smooth sound from that 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Equally smooth in the all-new 200 is its new electric power steering system. It's very fluid in typical Chrysler fashion, and it's put through a beautiful leather trim steering wheel, sporting an all-new three-spoke design with multiple accents of painted silver here on each of the spokes, beautiful stitched leather all the way around, nice thick bolstering abstentions up here for perfect gripping capabilities, along with a nice supple feel to the leather around the entire exterior rim. 
Now the only available transmission for the new 200 in both 2.4 and 3.6 liter models is Chrysler's all new 9 speed 9 HP electronically controlled automatic transmission put through a sort of luxurious Jaguar style turn dial here in the center console. Just keep your foot on the brake and just turn it to select various gears. Push down and over to enter sport mode. Once you're in sport mode, you can take control of the gears manually. You can also see that it turns the trash control completely off. And you can take control of the gears manually via the small metal paddle shifters located here on either side of the wheel, using the left one to shift down and the right one to shift up. Now with our particular 200 having the updated technology package for the new 200, it is available with a reverse backup camera along with multiple sets of parking assist sensors. Also comes with a fully contouring set of guidance lines, which, when you turn the steering wheel, will automatically turn in the direction in which you turn the wheel. Also alongside it is a new electronic parking brake, so just keep your foot on the brake and pull up to set, and push forward to release. We'll go ahead and keep it on just for safety's sake. Both the driver and passenger windows are automatic in both directions. And once you close the door to the new 200, a small interior chime will start going ahead to let you know that it's lost detection of its proximity key fob. Now as was the case with the older 200, which was modeled after the very basic design Chrysler Sebring, the all new 200 sports two available powertrain options. The more basic models get the 2.4 liter multi-air Tiger Shark inline four cylinder, producing about 180 horsepower. But in our case today, we have the mighty Pentastar V6 in our favor. Under the hood of the new Chrysler 200, you find the 3.6 liter dual overhead cam, 24 valve spark ignition direct fuel injected V6, along with a standard variable valve timing system. All put together, this new power plant produces a healthy 295 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. Even with a V6 and only in front-wheel drive configuration, it still achieves a mile per gallon rating on regular unleaded gasoline of 19 miles per gallon city and, and 32 miles per gallon on the interstate highway. Yet another example of the beautiful smooth technology at work at Chrysler Group. And now let's see about a few revs of that 3.6 liter V6 and see what kind of soundtrack she produces. It's got a 4,000 RPM rev limiter when in drive or neutral. It's got a very potent yet very throaty soundtrack to that big, big V6. Absolutely wonderful sound. And with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. You do have the option of them being automatic, as well as push the button to turn on the fog lights and turn on the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the all new exterior of the 200C. Now for anyone who has been a fan of Chrysler throughout the years, or has hired a rental car from the airport, you pretty much know what a dramatic change this is for the all new Chrysler 200. The older one has been criticized indefinitely by so many people saying that it had a feeling not only of the old Chrysler Sebring, but basically of that of a rental car. But this new 200 basically aims to turn all of that on its head. Producing new luxurious technologies such as bi-xenon projector beam headlights with factory LED accents running along the bottom of each light. You got factory LED er, uh, fog lights below. 
We've got radar guided cruise control hidden inside this gloss black painted front grille as noted by each of the small bulb like projections on each side of the grille. You can also see the small sensors lining the front and rear of the vehicle that tell you all of your different guidance uh, parking assists. From every angle, it's definitely apparent that the all-new 200 definitely has grown a new pair, basically. Very curvaceous, very flowing lines, and definitely a sidestep from what Chrysler has normally been known for, which is big, heavy, luxurious sedans. Now our particular tester here is riding on the upgraded set of 19 inch polished aluminum alloy wheels with factory painted uh, pockets here on each of the inner spokes of the wheel, giving off a nice two-tone fan blade style appearance. Gloss black painted and monochromatic finished mirrors with LED integrated turn signals. And although our particular unit doesn't have it, a power tilting and sliding sunroof is also an available option. And even Chrysler puts in small luxurious touches here on the exterior of the vehicle to kind of give it that little extra something, such as these small touches of chrome on each one of the four door handles. Now, the, for those of you who are wondering, the vehicle is available in two significant trim levels, or rather three if you consider it a more base model. You have the base, you have the 200C, like what we have here, and the more sporty version, the 200S. Now, the 200S is actually less expensive than the car you're looking at here. The 200C is basically the most expensive trim level of the 200 that's available for sale at the current moment. And you have to think, for a car that costs just about as much as some of its German competitors, yet provides infinite amount more times of technology, especially with Chrysler continually updating all of their technological updates for these cars, it's no wonder that the new 200 should definitely become a sales market success. No longer is it feeling like a rental car, it definitely feels like it's grown up, and it definitely feels like a bigger part of the Chrysler family. We've got standard LED ring tail lights. From the back here, and this is only speaking from a competitive point, it almost looks like the back end of an Audi A7 or a Mercedes CLS, with this very sloped roof line going all the way to the back to a sort of ducktail style spoiler going off the rear end. Almost like a four door coupe or coupe style exterior. Now, whether or not Chrysler was actually aiming to do that, I'm not exactly sure. All around, this is definitely a beautiful example of what Chrysler Group can really do. Basically take a car that was on the verge of going under and turn it completely on its head and turn it into something absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of the top most luxury cars I personally would love to own. But now that we've had a good look around the exterior of the all new 200, let's go ahead and take a look at what changes have been made to the interior. As stated previously, this particular car has the upgraded black leather interior with bits of black 
finished wood here on the doors and a bit of and a small part of the dash small bits of black plastic here with black uh, or excuse me silver painted trim and down here on the door as to be expected in a luxury vehicle are your full sets of electronic conveniences including power mirrors automatic one touch driver and passenger windows the rest of your power windows your window locks along with your power door locks your trunk release is located down here and to the left of the steering wheel along with instrument dimming all of your lighting controls and all sorts of electronic other conveniences which we'll cover throughout the review. You've got a multi-way power adjustable driver's seat with multi-way lumbar support. And also down here on the door, you can see that this particular automobile has the upgraded Alpine audio system. Now stepping into the interior of the new 200, you are immediately surrounded by a completely alternate, in essence an alternate universe to what was previously a basic rental car style interior. Ever since Chrysler Group partnered with Fiat to start developing some of their vehicles including the Charger, the Dart, and now the new 200, it's no wonder that all of Chrysler's cars seem to be really jumping up their game from what was previously known as sort of a lesser known American car company. It's, a, it's extremely quiet in here as well. That's one thing that Chrysler has definitely excelled at, is sound quality inside the interior. You don't really want a ton of road noise in a huge luxury car like this, so definitely a huge plus for Chrysler in that one. One of the things that really catches my eye in particular here is the gauge cluster. A little bit more basic cars still get the LCD readout here in the center, but these very uh, beautiful aluminum style rings around the tachometer and speedometer, even labeled with their own insignia, definitely adds a very nice little touch to this vehicle overall. Now the steering wheel, again, as I said, is Chrysler's all new three spoke design, specific right now to the new 200. A lot of Chrysler's other vehicles, especially in the Dodge or Jeep department, have their own steering wheel design for all of their new cars. Dodge has a beautiful uh, three spoke design with the split spoke in the bottom and Jeep kind of followed suit not too long afterwards. Now here on the steering wheel you have pretty much all of your electronic creature comforts and then some. As I mentioned in the tube little bulb like projections on the front of the vehicle, you have your distance control, your active cruise control settings, and all of your other cruise control buttons here on the right side of the wheel. And on the left you have your controls for your LCD monitor up there and also hands free Bluetooth. On the back of the steering wheel, there are also a couple of buttons, which you can't really see. They're kind of hidden here behind, over here where the paddle shifter would be. And speaking of other controls, we also have Chrysler's all new 8.4 inch touchscreen display, along with their standard Uconnect system for their higher end vehicles. Underneath, before we get to the modern touchscreen display, we have all of their different controls. You have your active cruise control, which is your um, it's basically your active crash control, your active parking assist, which allows the vehicle to basically park itself, other parking assist features, and also your steering wheel control as well. Flowing down here into the lower console of the vehicle, again we have the gear shifter for the 9HP48 automatic transmission and also the electronic parking brake, but also a much more legible control, uh, climate control system in here. Now while it looks like a single zone, it actually has two zones, as noted by the two temperature arrows here on each side of your fan control. You have your automatic AC here in the middle, just push it. You can see you can also bring the climate control up here on the Uconnect system. Your fan speed here in the middle, just turn the dial. And if you want to turn it off, just hit the topmost button, but we'll go ahead and leave it on since it is a bit warm in here. Definitely nice and cold too. You also have active, um, or excuse me, the air conditioning, air conditioning recycling, front and rear defroster, your back button for your screen, and even the ability to turn the screen completely off. Also your traction control button here right in the center. Your tune and control button for uh, the radio is right here on the right hand side and also your volume knob for the radio is over here on the left. 
Now as for the Uconnect system, it's actually not too difficult to understand. You have all different, all different tabs down here, including radio, alternative media such as iPhone, your heated seat controls, climbing controls, nav, phone pairing, and also other Uconnect apps. You can select all apps. You have AHA, your assist, your iHeartRadio and Pandora, settings, slacker radio, and you also have things like travel link via Sirius Satellite XM, and also your Wi-Fi hotspot and Uconnect registration and so on. Right now we're on the Sirius XM satellite radio. Hi, it's John Witten from Asia, and now you find yourself on Big 80s on 8, and Alan Hunter is a really great... Hmm, that part I was asked to read, I'll take my payment now. They're all here. And also on this radio, you have what's called direct tune. You simply press it, you can dial in any number you want, such as, I don't know, one of my favorite hip-hop's ones. And as you can see, it's all around a very easy system to use. So like for pairing your media, you can see you just connect your device through the iPod auxiliary inputs, heated seat controls, your driver heated seat, and also your mirror dimmer, climate controls as we saw before, navigation, allowing you to set different destinations and also emergency contacts. The map graphics are actually very good and that's because the navigation system is actually powered by Garmin. So any graphics you see here are actually the same ones you would find on a small portable Garmin uh, navigation system. You can pair your phone and again the Uconnect apps which we saw earlier. Not too difficult to understand at all. Down here in the center you can see you have all sorts of different integrated um, abilities. You can slide back the cup holders here. Also lift up your center console. And you see you have your 12 volt DC outlet, auxiliary ports and inputs for USB as well. Slide your cup holders forward and all finished in the nice polished dark wood which we saw gracing portions of the dash here and also portions of the doors. Nice padded leather center console. Very nice and soft and supple. And up here you have your assist and 911 functions. Sunglasses holders, your different reading lamps, excuse me, home link garage door system, available vanity mirrors with lights. Overall, this is a very impressive and a very considerable improvement over the old 200. Definitely, definitely impressed with this one here. But now that we've had a good look around all of the interior features in the front of the new 200, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. You can see that it sets the emergency brake automatically. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the new 200. Now stepping into the rear of the new 200, it actually is quite a sizable car compared to the old one. I'm about six foot one, and at the same time I have the seat set in the position where I would want it, you can actually see I have quite a fair bit of leg room back here, and it is due to some of the indentions in the rear of the seat. You have dual map pockets for each side of the vehicle. Gives you a beautiful view of that dashboard. And all around, it's a very comfortable place to be. You have a nice little fold down center console here with available armrest and also a small pass through to get into the trunk. All nice in a plush bit of leather. Now the trunk can be accessed either via the small touchpad underneath the rear of the vehicle or also via the keyless access remote. Very large and spacious trunk capacity. Again, a much bigger improvement over the old one. Sixty forty split fold rear seats.
see the seats just fold forward. The small straps right here. And you do have to take the headrest out and whatnot, but still very easily accessible. Now, as far as safety features go on the new 200, you have available side curtain and side impact airbags, along with dual stage, dual stage front impact airbags for both the driver and passenger, along with a select few others. And speaking of quality on this new 200, just listen to the way the door closes. Much more soft and authoritative. Got a bit of a heavy thunk to it. And also, noticing the much thicker door handles as we saw on the exterior of the vehicle, a much nicer place to grip onto. You've also got this kind of floating dashboard here under the center console. You can see that there's actually this giant gap right here that allows you to set things on top of a sort of all-weather floor mat piece with what appears to be a skyline of Detroit. How sweet is that? Didn't even notice that when we first stepped in. You can see you've got a power adjustable passenger seat as well without lumbar support. And sitting inside the passenger side of this vehicle, even though the seat is not in the most optimal position, I can definitely stretch out. Again, I'm about six foot one. I have very long legs. And as you can see, my feet go all the way under the dashboard without a single hindrance or problem. Now, the, dash, the glove compartment is damped. As you can see, it falls nice and soft. It is not exactly what you would call huge, but it is not lined with felt as to be expected in a vehicle of this caliber. But at the same time, it still is nice and damped. So at least you're not having something fall directly into your lap. Overall, this new 200 is absolutely exquisite. There is absolutely nothing about this vehicle that I believe anyone could ever fault. It's beautiful, it's luxurious, and by far and away does not feel like a rental car at all. So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this rather extensive look at the all new 2015 Chrysler 200C. Remember these vehicles have just been released, so if you find one, do definitely take a test drive. I more than encourage it. And if you've seen any vehicles in the background of this footage or this particular vehicle you see here and wish to come take a test drive or find out more information, please feel free to contact Classic Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram at ClassicDodgeChryslerJeep.com or come visit their inventory here on Interstate 35 in Denton, Texas. Until then, viewers, hope you had a great time, and I will see you guys later.